Hi, tech enthusiasts! Welcome back to our channel, Fast Cabling. So we know securing a truck parking lot is important for the safety of both vehicle and the cargo that they carry. So implementing a robust security camera system is an effective approach. And the use of power over Ethernet is popular in the truck parking lot because it can streamline installation by sending both power and data through a single Ethernet cable. But it comes with its own set of challenges. Some common issues associated with the truck parking lot security camera system, including not having a stable power supply to the cameras in a large area. And also connectivity issues, such as network outages, it might disrupt the continuous operation of the whole security camera system. So in a large space like a truck parking lot, we'll need some PoE extension solution for the long-range setup. Since PoE technology has a distance limitation of 100 meters, that's 328 feet. And some may tend to use PoE extender in this case, but imagine if you want to install the camera at the furthest corner that may be 250 meters away, that means you need two PoE extender in between. And with multiple cameras in your parking lot, that means you need maybe dozens of PoE extender in your truck parking lot. So I don't really recommend that. Firstly, Voltage drop can result in reduced power delivery to the connected camera, especially when extending over a long distances, because power cannot be repeated even though you add a PoE extender. Furthermore, each additional extender adds complexity to the infrastructure. With multiple points of connection, there's an increased risk of failure or issue at each junction. So identifying and troubleshooting problem becomes more challenging in a daisy chain setup. Is it the first extender or the second extender that's broken? So daisy chaining extender may compromise the overall reliability of the PoE system. And the more components involved, the higher the likelihood of failure, so leading to potential downtime. And that's why I'm going to introduce you to the alternative long-range solution, which is using a long-range PoE switch. Now this one here is a 24-port long-range PoE switch. This is a powerful network device that effectively extends your PoE range up to 500 meters, allowing your IP cameras to be deployed flexibly anywhere in the truck parking lot. Now it has 24 100 megabit per second RJ45 PoE port. Port 17 to port 24 are the long-range port. And also two 1000 megabit per second RJ45 Ethernet port and one gigabit SFP port for high speed data networking. And with a power budget of 225 watts. So without saying, let's put it to work. So now we are in front of the demonstration board. And I'm going to connect with the PDZ camera and the bullet camera. So in a truck parking lot, not all the cameras have the same distances. Maybe your bullet camera is 200 meters away and your PDZ camera is 400 meters away. And in this case, our long-range PoE switch will be your best choice. Let me tell you why. Remember that I said port number 17 to 24 are the long-range PoE port. But then you'll need to add an adapter to remain 100 megabit per second at the transmission rate. If that's not enough for you, no worry, because port number 1 to 16 can also achieve up to 250 meters long range. All you need to do is put them into the CCTV mode. So now, using only one long range PoE switch, and you can achieve different distances. And let me show you how. First, I'm going to connect the router and the network video recorder to our switch. Then I'm going to plug in an Ethernet cable to those ports, which I already put them in the CCTV mode. Using this Ethernet cable, which is 200 meters distance, now it's connected to the bullet camera. 
you can see the indicated lights is on. That means this camera is getting both power and data from 200 meters away. And there's nothing else needed. You can see the live video feed that I'm moving, but it just needs some time to get the focus on. So next, I'm going to show you how to connect to the PDZ camera that will be 500 meters away. We're going to use the 200 meters Ethernet cable. So first, let's unplug it from this port and plug it into the long range port. Just like this. Here we have 200 meters. That's why I'm going to add 300 meters to it. So now I have 500 meters in total. Use a simple coupler to join them together. Unplug it from the bullet camera and to the coupler. And then I can connect it with the PDZ camera. But first, we'll need the PoE adapter. Why do we need that? The long-range PoE switch has the long-range chipset built-in, but the camera doesn't, so it won't send back the signal that far away. That's why we'll need an adapter, so we can send back the signal to our long-range PoE switch. And this is a waterproof adapter. Let's take out the neck and the gland for easy installation. Here we have the input port. Plug it in from the 500 meters Ethernet cable. Use a short patch cord to connect it with the PDZ camera. Just like this. Now you can see the camera is getting the power and the data that it needs. This adapter also has a special mounting tool. Allows you to mount it on a DIN reel. Just like this. And you can put the adapter as close as you can with the camera. Next, I'm going to check out the video feed on our monitor. So here we go. I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is absolutely a live video that is 500 meters away with only an adapter. And what's more, not only you can watch your video feed on the monitor, you can also do it on your phone, tablets, or a computer. See, this is absolutely a live video. So now you can monitor your property 24-7, anytime, and anywhere. And we know the high-power PDZ camera are often used for a large area surveillance purpose due to its pan, tilt, and zoom feature. So it can capture wider angles and field of view, and they usually have a higher resolution to provide clear and more detailed images. And some equipped with advanced detection features like the human detection and vehicle detection to capture human movement and license plate. That's why the PDZ camera has a specific power requirement to support their advanced feature and functionality. So if you're using a PoE extender for the PDZ cameras, sometimes it may not work because it cannot deliver the sufficient power for the PDZ camera to work. Remember, power cannot be repeated. So the camera will only work when the switch has the enough power budget for the end devices. That's why I strongly recommend you to use our long-range PoE switch. So by using the switch in a truck parking lot for PDZ camera can simplify the installation process, provide centralized power management to contribute to a robust and efficient security infrastructure. It addresses the distance and power challenges posted by the expensive area and ensuring comprehensive surveillance across the parking lot. And also, you see in Rikit Rikitra, and also, you can visit our website to discover a diverse range of innovative technology solutions designed to elevate your business operation. From advanced security system and efficient networking solution to state-of-the-art IoT application, our website is your gateway to a tech-driven future. So don't miss out on the next wave of technological advancement. Visit us now for a glimpse into a tech savvy tomorrow.